congratulations on the win. You guys uh, tied the team record for home runs in a game with eight. Have you ever been involved in a game like this? Um, I don't think so, but it was just full of energy and good time. Windsor, what was that like there when the guys are hitting home run after home run? I don't know in the dugout. I know they uh, set the record last year's team did in, in May against North Florida. Maybe some of the guys knew about the record. Was eight. Did you guys know that as you were hitting home run after I think home run? I heard someone say it on the one that we tied. Okay. So that's when I heard it, and I was like, oh, maybe we have a shot. So what were you seeing in the batter's box tonight differently today as opposed to Friday? Um, we were just seeing the ball better, and we were being, we were ready to hit compared to Friday. Friday, we weren't ready to hit. We are having good at bats, and today we were. So it's kind of, what was the mindset after Friday? I'm sure you guys were frustrated, and, you know, that wasn't a game that, you know, you probably, guys probably felt like you should have won. But to come back and have back-to-back -back performances offensively, what was the mindset, and how did you correct it? I just simply have a good at bat, be productive, and give the stick to the next guy and move the line. And you come back and you score 40 runs over the next two games. I mean, mm -hmm. that's a response right there. Yeah, it is. So we'll talk about that fifth inning right there. Because, you know, obviously, you know, you get some good insurance in the fourth with five, with five runs. And then all of a sudden the fifth inning just just happens and just goes goes on a tear there. Yeah. Um, kind of keep putting it on them and see what they come back with. I think the biggest thing was we didn't um, – we had a lot of team at bats. Like, we had a lot of sack flies that inning, I'm pretty sure and like a lot of RBI ground outs. And then some guys stepped up, some guys did. Just kind of reflect on this ongoing season for you. You've come in and been a really valuable member of this team. You're leading the team in batting average. Like what's kind of been working for you this year? I kind of just stick to my approach every at bat and simply try to put a good plan up to the batter's box. How good at bat. Both you and Braden Kalise ended up getting four RB, RBIs today. Kalise, of course, kind of joining the starting lineup at the start mm -hmm. of conference play. What's it been like, like working with him at the batting average? What did you think about his performance in the bat today? Pretty good, pretty good. I think he adjusted very well after his second or third at bat. Um, I think he struck out once, but I think he adjusted from that very well. I see your batting average is, you know, considerably higher than what it was the last couple of years. Like, what kind of looking back at your, your first couple of years to now, like what's different about your, your game, you think? Uh, I think it's like forgetting how many bad at-bats you have and remember the good ones. Because if you keep thinking about the bad ones, you're just going to keep having more bad ones. Is that something that maybe you did early in your career that obviously you, you put behind yeah, you Yeah, definitely. Because I've gotten a lot more this year. And, you know, these past years, it wasn't a lot. And it was a lot like, you know, get get the bat, go out there, not like get ready. What? What does this series do for this team as you return to Big 12 Conference play next weekend? I think it shows how good our offense is and how good it can it can consistently be. What's it been like just being home? I know you weren't too far away when you were at Florida being from Apopka, but what's yeah. it like just kind of being home back in the Orlando area? I'm pretty good. You know, I have a bunch of little kids come up to me, and, like, I know the teams that come in and do the buddy ball thing. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. What do you think this team needs to do in order to succeed in, succeed in conference play now that you kind of took this kind of weekend versus a non-conference conference and you kind of take stock of things? I'd say, like, just, you know, keep hitting consistently, you know. I mean, we're always going to have bad at-bats, but I think if we have more good at-bats than bad at-bats, and we're always ready to hit. Okay, that's good. Yep. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Yeah. Thank Thanks. you. Thank you. Thanks.